Hey y'all, welcome back to another one. Me and Brody's finna plant this blueberry bush here. Uh, we've got some footage of him opening some packages over the last couple of weeks that we hadn't got into videos yet. We're gonna put that over at the end of this, so be sure to hang around for that. Me and him has already planted some corn down here this morning. And I didn't film it because all we done was we poured the corn in the push planter and pushed it down in rows. And that we used a little over a half of that sack of corn and planted like eight rows of corn down there. So we're going to do another corn planting video when I plant this field and all back here. But we'll probably do it with a tractor. And uh, I'll show you using that push planter whenever we start putting some peas and things like that. And I may put a row of zipper cream or two down here because the deer don't seem to get right here and eat this up as bad because the dogs keep them run off. So we're gonna plant this blueberry bush. Do you have something you want to tell them? Yeah, you I go don't... tell them. Go over there and talk to look at the camera. Make sure, you, make sure you're in the camera. Them stickers is giving Brody fit. I put my shoes on so I wouldn't have to fight the stickers. And it's supposed to rain here in a little bit. Yeah, I got us some Hershey candies in case this yeah, that's that candy Mr. John died and seen him. Ain't it? Yeah. He, he working on it now. Oh. I usually save them plugs of grass off the top. Why don't you go put your shoes on if it's that hard to walk? Okay. <laughs> I give him his little shovel and he wouldn't. He said no, he wouldn't. He didn't need it. But this, I dug these blueberry bushes up from my mom's. And uh, this is the one that I would, let me pull y'all in a little bit closer. This is the one that I didn't think was going to make it. And uh, I've been watering it and had it just cut. And it appears that it is going to make it. So I'm going to try to gently pour it off down in this ground right here. I was gonna save them plugs of grass. It's supposed to rain today, and that's why I decided I'd plant it today. <laughs> well, I reckon whatever works, huh? Um. I got all your keys. Yeah, go tell them about it. <laughs> Y'all, I got daddy shoes. <laughs> you monkey. I do have a pawpaw tree down here that I want to plant somewhere. And I have got to, whoa, whoa, don't, don't. Watch that ink bed there, boy. Oh, um, I want to plant it a little lower because they like them swampy areas. And I've got a lower place down there and I'm thinking about planting it down there near my medicinal garden because there's some places that I don't really mower and I won't have to just mow right around it and it stays more moist down there. Uh, the only problem is I'm more liable to forget it as far as hand watering it. So, because right over here behind me, you see this water catchment on the back of this chicken pen. That is why I'm transitioning my bed to down yonder. I wanted to do that today, but I got some pottery orders I have got to get done. So probably not going to get to do that today. Uh, next thing, I want to do a, a cooking poke salad. Another video of cooking poke salad. I've done it two or three times. But look, right now is the time. You see that poke salad right there coming up? That is pokeweed, and young, tender, best time to harvest it, and uh, makes a great green. So we're going to do that sometime in the next week or so before they all get Dad, too big. What, I, bud? I put it <laughs> Now, if y'all remember, we dug these up down here, these pawpaws in the swamp last year when I was on a squirrel hunt or something down there. So right here, they like shade. And I'm going to plant them. I've got some plum bushes doing well, two of them. 
and uh, it's moist down here. So this is where I chose to plant these things. And hopefully the sweet gums down here don't choke them out. You got a lot of questions, don't you? Uh -huh. yep. All right. We're gonna see if we can make it. Yeah, they probably a bunch of worms. I see him. Can I help him out? I don't imagine you can get him out, buddy. There he is. You want him? That's fish bait, buddy. Find him a new home, huh? Yeah, we can see I saved the worm. You saved the worm. Yeah, he's right there. He's right here. He's right here. All right. Well, it's a good day to plant all this. Here's another one, Brody. You want to save another one? Yeah. This is a short one. You probably got cut in half with a shovel, reckon? What, what I need is... So y'all, we got this thing planted right here, and uh, somebody told me that if you could train them to stay in full sun, that they would produce more. This thing has been getting a lot of sun, but it has been getting half a day sun because of where it sets on my shed it gets all afternoon shade so it's going to be simulated here it will get a lot of sun a lot more sun than it was getting in the swamp so we're going to just see what it'll do i've never got a pawpaw to grow up here i know where they are down in that swamp now so i can go back there and get some more of this fall if this dies or don't make it but i brought like five or six home and that is the only one that put leaves back out this year so We'll just have to see what happens with it. Y'all, I wanted to show you my blackberry bushes that we brought up here and planted. Now, these are wild blackberries that are native to this area. And last year, they didn't produce a whole lot. We put them in the ground, I think, year before last. And uh, they, they, the growth only produces on the second year. The first year, it'll grow a lot of new growth. So there'll be a lot of limbs in here that are not producing any fruit. But everything that you see blooming will be producing fruit this year. So doing this on these trellises, what you do is you leave this wire right here where you can untie it from one end and pull it out. And then you drag it out here and you pull it up tight and it will pull those bushes up. And that's why it's set up this way. That way you can mow by it. Now, obviously mine on this other side is kind of hanging over that way. I need to adjust my setup a little bit and pull that other side up. Probably need to drive a taller post in over there so that I can better uh, put it up. Brody, quit pulling on that. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to show you because I had some people asking about with how they do. This year, we're going to load up with blackberries right here. Um, now, I do come by occasionally and throw some fertilizer under there, whatever you choose to put in it. And... Uh, so I just wanted to show them to you and show you that they are going to produce this year and update you through them. I dug these up just like I do all of my fruit trees. I usually find them somewhere, dig them up, and transplant them. Occasionally, we will buy new stuff. So I showed you some peach trees the other day. Somebody said one of those was nectarines. Well, the deal is, is I bought those first two peach trees at Walmart with the same tag on both of them. I attempted to graft one of them from the newer trees I put and I only grafted one limb. Did it reset the whole tree and make the whole tree something else? Because I want to think the first year it put, put smooth fruit on there. I don't know. We will see. Um, I, grafting is something that I have experimented with. I am not an expert on this. So 
I don't try to portray that I am. I'll show you what I'm doing and how I've done it. I don't mean that is the only best right way to do it. So, uh, anyway, that was the deal. As the reason I was showing it, unsure what what is. Uh, it's not what's on the tag. I don't think. Now, I, the newer two trees is, that's got the regular big peaches. I know what those are. Those are uh, Georgia peaches. You done melted, you son. You 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 can throw that away. That's melted. You done towed it around till it squished. Yeah, I'm not opening that. It's go put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> He's done toted that candy around till it's uh, soup in it. Huh? Okay, honey. Boy, you eat too many snacks and sweet cakes and candy and popsicles. Ice cream. I think you bought sport plum rotten. Hey, cupcakes. Okay. Cinnamon rolls. The good thing you're going to grow new teeth. Because them you got going to rot out. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. So y'all, this is how we planted the corn. And we got a big bag. Uh, I'm not going near about plant all of these right here. I've just got two rows, and the reason I am planting right now is I like to plant before a full moon, especially seed crops. They need, so we've got seven days until the full moon. Now, after that, you can plant anytime. Yeah. It'll grow anytime. You get a better germination rate planting right before a full yeah. moon. 
So what we try to do is I want to plant some of this stuff now, and then all my main peas, I'm probably going to wait till after the 1st of May to put all of that in because... I'm not in a hurry. I don't want everything getting ready at the same time. All of this stuff probably will. But what I'm gonna do is just put two rows of these zipper creams in here because the deer don't eat them as bad down here. And uh, Brody's gonna help me. We put them in this little push planter and it puts the seed, you push it down this row. It is the best way to accurately make sure you put the seed. And I've got a seeder for the tractor. But you, if it stops up or don't plant seed, you don't know it till you through and they're coming up for the most part. So Brody, come over here and let's get ready and, and, and plant this. We done both lost our shoes. I had the doctor on some plantain on my feet where I got an ants yesterday. You finna get the same ants I got in if you don't get out from over there. What you stepping on? You gonna come over here and help me? Yeah. So y'all have a good time planting y'all's garden. Yes, sir. Well, hold this up where we can have a good time planting ours there. Amos Moses. Yeah. You keep calling me that. Yeah. Is that your favorite song? Yeah. He likes old Amos Moses. Now, what was Amos Moses? Huh? He was a Cajun. He lived by himself in a swamp. Oh, oh, Hunted alligator for a living. What'd he do? It's not being the hay list <laughs> All right, we're going to push this down through there and come back up the other way. All right, you going to help push? Come on. Yeah, it's working right now. Garden, they don't plant their garden. I've seen it. Some of them already done planted. Yeah, that's where they all got planted. You see it? Man down. He got names again, I think. All right, look. We got to try to dump these back off over it. Hold that up a second. I may have to open this. I just about got to cut the whole top out of it to pull them back in there. Don't let go of that now. Okay. Uh-oh. My knife may done got dull. We better cut a bunch of stuff. Time for a sharp. Alright, now what I do here. There we go. Alright, you got that? Yep. You can push it back up the hill. Get that piece of plastic. Well, y'all, we've got one. Let me just show you right here. This is all these rows of corn are planted. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of peaches and cream sweet corn. I planted, I think, Silver Queen last year. I'm not real picky. My mom and dad love G90, so I have experimented. The last time I planted peaches and cream, it didn't do very well. And then what did do well is squirrels eat up. So we just planted the whole thing in it. Be done. Now this right here is zipper cream peas. We just put two rows in. I'll put the rest of these seed on the top of the hill with my top pick purple hull peas. And that's gonna be my, where I killed me a deer this year. I guarantee you in the middle of the summer, I don't care if he's brown, he's down. He's gonna get eat in the summertime. I'm not, I'm not dealing with it this year. I have tried and tried and tried to save them, protect them, and then I eat my garden up. It's more important than I eat than they eat. I don't want to be malicious and just hateful, but I'm not willing to let them have my garden this year. And uh, I didn't, it was too hard for me to get deer meat in the winter this year. So I'm an opportunist. Have I said that before around here? Believe so. And I believe that's the best way to do it.
just go on and get them now and put them in. And if I go ahead and get my deer meat right now, we can piddle around, won't be strapped for deer meat this fall. We can squirrel hunt with Roscoe more. So anyway, Brody, we like to crappie fish in the fall too, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we'll do. We're going to let them other folks down there try to deer hunt. We'll squirrel hunt right there with them. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, if you ain't got one of these planters like this, this is Precision Garden Cedar make by Earthway plants. Products. Seeds. Just yeah. so you get a good look at it. Yeah. Uh, they're made in Bristol, Indiana. Oh. Um, now, they are some other brands, I think. Hoss Tools makes some, and they they have good products. So, order one there. But this type of cedar is real handy for small gardens and stuff. A lot easier than fighting with a tractor. So, you got stuff you want to say before we close out this video? Yeah. Because we finna have to go make pottery today. Come over here. Tell them whatever you got to say before we go. I'm going to say a bunch of stuff. Well, say it. Look at the camera and say it. Y'all make sure y'all have one of those. And make sure you put wires everywhere so the dirt don't get mixed up. Make sure you put one of those logs right there. And if you just put one right there, it won't get mixed up. You walking off out of the camera. Now tell them everything right quick. We got to go. Make sure to plant a bunch of seeds. Yeah. Let's show them our peppers we planted while we got them on here. You want to? Yeah, and then I'll set the way up. I haven't watched that. Well, you ain't doing a good job of saying it. I have a bunch of stuff. So we planted right down through here, and there's one of them turnips. They're going to rot. We're going to feed them. The chickens wouldn't eat the turnips. But I've got four jalapenos well, and four bales that I bought yesterday and planted. Chickens. And a Tell them all about it. Tell them. Just to Bodie. Bodie Peden. Then, if it's storing. And then you can't. You might want to get out. If it lightning comes. But you might want to get out. Uh-oh. Uh. Y'all don't want to eat no hot peppers. I don't like hot peppers. If y'all have kids... I like hot peppers, though. I don't. Make sure if you have a little kid that don't like hot peppers, don't give them no. Here's a cricket. Wait, 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 wait. There's a brim hopping right there. Yeah, go catch him. I'll film you catching him. Did you get him? Oh, yeah. Oh, I got him. Oh, you lost him. Okay. Oh, I got him, y'all. Oh. <laughs> you got him. All right, you West turn him loose. We ain't going fishing today. Put it right there by that hillbilly potato leaf tomato. See how it's smooth leafed? Let him go, buddy. Let him go. Y'all make sure y'all want to film Campbell and watch every y'all uh, play. Film it all? Yeah. That's the best way to know what they put where, ain't it? If they put it on camera? Yeah, make sure to put fertilizer. <laughs> put plenty of fertilizer. Yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. too. Make sure you have gloves if you are a little kid to have. What do. about shoes? Do they need to wear shoes or no? They do need to wear garden rubber boots if they get fertilized. Where's your garden rubber boots? You ain't got none on. Well, I think it's better if they go barefooted. Well, y'all don't go barefooted. If you go barefooted and drop fertilizer on your feet, that's poison. And it ain't well, good for little boys to handle fertilizer, is it? Mm -mm. Always Tell need, them. Y'all only need gloves if you want a little kid to handle fertilizer. Yeah. 
I don't have any gloves in my bathroom. All right. Well, look. Tell them what's the best way to do things. I have some more stuff. Oh, inside. well, let's get it said. <laughs> All of a bunch of it. Make sure you don't step on any plants. If you step on a stick, ow. Don't get an ant bed on Well, you kind of dancing around an ant bed right there. Back up over here. You're too close to the camera anyway. Right there. Now turn around and talk to them. And if you step on a plant, uh, don't step on a plant. Yeah, it ain't good to walk on top of them rows much, is it? No. Tell them to get Tony Parker to make them a hoe where they can keep that garden all straightened out. Yeah. He makes them hoes. That'd be at Tortuga Ford. Yeah. All right, is that all you got to say? No. I have a bunch of stuff. Well, say it. You, you're taking too long, buddy. Why? Well, say it. Y'all make sure y'all uh, close out y'all's video if y'all will. And these people at the best place shop. What? These people are at the best uh, place Them people's at home, son. Well. They sitting on their couch at the house in the recliner with a bowl of ice cream watching you. You don't be asking for packages. You got too much stuff. Y'all make sure y'all see me. Make sure y'all go to the Bass Pro Shop and give me the alligator hunting toys. And the hunting toys. You about through talking yet? Alright y'all, Brody has got some packages in the mail that he's dying to open tonight. Let me bring y'all up. A little closer here. See us sitting here in our recliner. Alright, open see what's in there. He said he didn't want me to use my knife. He wanted to tear it open, he said. Hang on. Let's let's uh all right, let me help you get started right here. He won't rip it. All right, right there. There, you got a hole to rip open now. Put your finger in there and rip it open. He may decide he wants me to use that pocket knife before we get through. One of these I know what he is, and I'm going to show you. Rip it on open. Now, what is that? Mr. Ken, some of the stuff he sent the fishing pole the other day. He's got you some tackle to go with that fishing pole. Y'all, it has got some jigs, and I'm going to tell you, it's got some actually some good looking jigs. Oh, they're small, which is great for crappie. It's got some corks. We're going to try all that out here for long, ain't we? Yeah, yeah buddy. Let's see what's in this one. Brody, I'm going to open it because it's sticky right here. All right, now you can get into it. He likes opening these packages, y'all. I got a shirt on. I don't know why this one started choking me. Fishing line to go with it. Mr. Ken's got him fixed completely up. We don't know what that line is on there that I, comes on them poles, but this is four pounds to ream. Now, I'm going to open this one. Uh, I know what this is. This is from Brian at Poverty Hill. Uh, I watch him some, and and he watches our channel. And the other day, he does some paintings and stuff, and he painted one, and I said, I know what I want to do with this. I, and he said, well, I'll tell you what. He said, I'll send it to you. Some of y'all may have seen my comment. So Brian at Poverty Hill painted this. 
So if y'all, I'm not going to say what I'm going to do with it. You will find out. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it back in the mailbox. And I'm going to send it to a friend of mine. A special friend of mine. So what do you think, Brady? What does that look like? Monkey. A monkey? It don't look like a Sasquatch? It yeah. says Squatch up there on its head. Yeah, I'm going to send it to somebody. Mr. Sasquatch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll be special. But I I, I was going to just send it to him, and I said, no, I'm going to open it because I wanted, I wanted you guys to get to see some of Mr. Brian's artwork he does. He paints some saw blades. He does some oddments on his channel, and... Y'all, I, I know a lot of people probably think I don't watch because I don't comment on a lot of different stuff because a lot of times I scroll through and watch it in there when I'm laying in the bed on a TV when I'm resting and I don't, it don't allow me to comment on a lot of stuff. And uh, the only way you can comment is with the phone, which you can get on there and comment, but it just, you know. Um, but we do appreciate everything that people send us and... You want the sticker off? Well, I'm. let's not open all that up because you'll have that scattered all over the house and then you won't even have it when it's time to go fishing. Or you just want to be able to look and see what's under it. It's wet. Yeah, all right, now. So y'all, thank you for watching me and Brody putting in our garden. There'll be, like I said, several videos between nine and uh, finishing planting on doing all of our planting. But thank you for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. And remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all later. Y'all have a good yeah. one.